Amen. Today, quickly, I'll be talking about divine intervention. Divine intervention. Can somebody open their Bible? So, First Chronicles, chapter four. I want somebody to please help me read. First Chronicles, chapter four, verse nine and ten. Do we have somebody there? Mm. Mm. problem was foundational anywhere he turns to right from when he was small they will say never do it well. he looked at his situation and said ah if I continue like this it will be bad though. he had to look at his situation because do you know that if he had realized early he would have started that prayer Hallelujah. He would have started that prayer probably when he was a teenager. But he started late. But thank God there is no time that is too late for God. And immediately he prayed. The Lord answered him. Divine intervention is when you call the Lord into your matter and it takes over. Divine intervention is when God by himself enter your situation and turn things around. Divine intervention is when God disrupts your plans. Mary, I'm alone, Dada. Her plan, she has planned her wedding gown to be white. Her dream of honor, there are plenty. You know, They've planned everything. How it's going to be on that day. She has planned it. I know Oga Joe is a very handsome guy. That everybody likes. So they've already been planning. You know, they, you know, they used to say, if it is me and Pastor now, ah, when they see Ambala, they will say, eh, ah, hello. And they look for her, they, they join her. Ah, if I, okay, Bola, when they see. P O A Ah Kolo. Let me look for. They will not say something twenty twenty. You know what they used to do. Ones Ones Bola twenty twenty. Aya. Ah. Eh. Obons. Ah. Yen lagbar. I'm looking. It's sounding local. Let me look for one that was sounding summer. Eh. Business, oh, business. Okay, we are. But yeah, we say event planner, some boy. Say event planner. If you need a number, she see. Oh yeah. So they have been proud they do Mary and Joe, Mary Joe. I people know Mary Joe, Mary eh? MJ. Oh yeah. These people, you will know people that used to go for weddings, and people that used to browse wedding on Instagram. MJ, only God know the dates. <laughs> you know, she has been planning that. Love is sudden. Because when we talk about divine intervention, a lot of us, we look, we look at the positive side. But there is another side of divine intervention ah, that most of us don't like to hear. And it's good for us to tell ourselves the truth. And suddenly the Lord came and said, keep that white gun. Keep MG. <laughs> Put the dates. 
keep all those Auntie Elizabeths that have been planning to help you to buy a shwebi. You don't need it. Don't need it. I have plans. I have plans. Ha! Imagine how if it was Mama B that she's from Lagos and the only daughter of her mother that the mother was a plan wedding before she was even a teenager. Ah! She could have said, Appa, my mother, Appa, this. She said, Ah! Your will, not my will. God scattered that plan. But let me tell you something. There is no plan that God scatters that does not come out better than how you have planned it. It may look as if God disappoints me. It may look as if what kind of rubbish is this? But just hold on. God has a better plan for you. I used to tell my husband that time that it, eh, when he was to go and study abroad, everything just scattered. He has not met me that time. So when he had met me, he was not still crying about it. And I said, see your head. If you are gone abroad, will you see fine girl like this tomorrow? Eh? And God disrupted your plan so that you meet a fine girl like this. So, Mary, you are, still, you are not crying. You say, Well, that is true. I say, Oh, oh. And that time, when we had not, I was consoling. I said, Don't worry. You see this traveling. You'll not even be using your money. They'll just, you will be. I just said, No, no, say, I get a road that's fine, safe. And that was how it is. Why am I saying this? There are some of you right now that it looks as if God is, has scattered your plans. Some of you now, you are just forming with God. Both you and God know that your relationship is not okay. But you are just forming. You enter Christ's atmosphere. You enter hearts. Which one do we used to do? I give Bogunga, you are the first to enter. And end of the most women prayer. You will be there. Which one do we used to do again? Every, every, you are there. But your mind, eh, you are like God. You see, eh? day your day, I day my day. Why? Because he has intervened in your matter. It's not always sweet. Those of you that you say, I, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Made it think and wear. Because truly, truly, when he appears, the way you have been saying, he might shock you. But do you know the beautiful thing? He said, for they that love the Lord. What happened? Eh? And see, let me tell you. You cannot be stagnated. You might not want See, I've seen several times. Look at that man called Joseph. The plan that God showed him was not the way God brought it out. And that is the problem with us. Do you know why God stopped showing you things? Because when he shows you, you scatter it. He will tell you, he will show you things he wants to do with you in 2030. 2030, you start bringing out flyer. I say, I saw three. Three and three is the same. Don't let me miss my time. You will not meet me again inside. You will not be wondering, but what happened? When God intervenes, to disrupt your plans. What should I do? How will I even know that it is God that has disrupted this plan? Let's even start with how will I know? Do you understand? How am I going to know that it is God that is disrupting these plans? Number one, you might never know. <laughs> it shocked you. <laughs> it shocked them. Yeah, be, hey, I owe you the truth. Number one, you might never, ever know. How will I know that it is God that has disrupted my plan? You will have one peace that you cannot explain. 
I said, number one, you will not. So that you will not say, Mama B, you say, I will always know. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know. Number two, you will have peace inside that destruction. That means I want this message sent to me. Number three, you will have supernatural provision even if you don't recognize it. You will have what? When the Lord is disrupting your plans, He will always make a provision. You might not even on, you might not acknowledge it. You might not like it. But whenever it's disrupting a plant, it will always. Let me give you some instances in the Bible. Uh, what is this boy? Joseph. He used to be a prime minister. Go. He has seen all that he, in, in his own interpretation. Hmm, is that he's going to be the head of that family. You know that's the 12th tribe of Israel. You remember? So his plan was he was going to be the head. But do you know what happened? God disrupted their plans. He went into Potiphar's house. God made a divine provision for him in the name of favor. He was so favored that he wasn't living like a servant, though he was a servant. Some of you, you are living in one bedroom. But honestly speaking, the way you are living is more than the person in the mansion. Somebody cook one fish stew like that. If you chop that fish, even the people in the mansion cannot chop that fish stew. I tell you. You might not recognize it. You might not appreciate it. But the truth is, you will always. You will come out like this. People will look at you and say, you just they lie. Money day. But you, you know. Sing jingba. When Joseph moved from the Potiphar's house, he entered prison. Did you see God's provision in the prison? Did you? Take it to the children of Israel. If not that Alonga want to kill them. All through their journey was their divine provision. Even though they felt this was how we should go, they went like this. He will always, when he disrupts him, even the Mary, our, our mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he disrupted our plans, was their provision, step by step instruction. Ah, that woman had the encounter. Oh. Some of you, you don't understand why you're having so many encounters. He is disrupting your plans, but he is putting some divine help. He is putting some encounters that you will never even have imagined you have if you had gone along your plans. And you'll be wondering, how have you forsaken me? No, he hasn't. How do I know that it is God that is disrupting my plans? He will send helpers. Even your enemies will be helping you. He will send help us. And you'll be wondering, Kai, feeling this exam. Yes, my hatred is my friend. Have you seen that kind of thing? I'm feeling this exam. Eh? My landlord is telling me to pack out. And he's my father's friend, though. Think of anything else. Now, what should I now do when God is disrupting my plans? Number one, acceptance. Accept it. Let it be unto me according to what? Not how can this thing now be now? Eh? Since you have now seen that eh, it's like 
Accept us. Number two, or any number you are, pray to always know step by step. Can somebody read Psalm 31 verse 3 for me? Pray to always know every step by step. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. You have disrupted the plans, no doubt. Do you know that he led them, wait now, he led them that even Joseph did not do mistake to say want to kiss Mary when Jesus was inside them. There. There's a reason why they put it in the Bible because of people like him. Mm. Mm. Because some of you like this, then girls kiss his man. That was how there is one Jesus too. You want to hear Jesus. People like to hear Jesus too much. So this lady got pregnant as a teenager. So the parents were angry. <sighs> what kind of a rubbish thing is this? <sighs> they were angry. And she came from a you know very good home. But she, she has always been the ethic of the family. So they were angry with her. They said she will never see that guy again. Put her in the house. After she put to bed, the family of the guy now came and said, ah, Please, so where we are from, we don't do the naming of our children outside the family. We like to do the naming of our children inside our family. Please. fear enough happy. They said, okay. So she went and do Nimi. After Nimi, she did maybe like two, three weeks, she now go back. After four months, <laughs> the whole sea belly. Ah! Ah! No, it can't be. It's not possible. They went to do scan. Ah! Scan say. By the power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Bele. And it's four months. Ah, the family say, No need. Hey, you have some worry. Please. <laughs> Come on, pay daddy. I take your seat and go. Oh. But you see, Joseph followed. It's a true life story. I'm telling you, those guys now they are big. Old. So when they're asking the how old are you, they're like twins. Ah, how come you will not use one year to senior themselves? Mm. <laughs> then there are some stories you just mm. <laughs> the Lord will help us. When God is disrupting your plans, people might not understand you. You yourself might not actually understand, like I told you. But pray that prayer in Psalm 31, verse 3, and say, Father, just lead me. And let me tell you, as a child of God, you will always be at that junction. At least, maybe a time in your life, if not more than once. I am a living testimony of such. The ones I fought, I regretted for fighting. But the ones I accepted and say, let it be unto me according to your word. Later, I now began to see the reason for it. So each time you hear divine intervention, I know what you want to hear me preach. But that is not where I am taking it from today. Maybe if you permit us, we'll talk about how we will intervene and make everything sweet. That's what you want to hear, right? But that is not where he's telling us to today. Today is telling you he can disrupt your plans very well. But you know what? Be of good cheer. 
little children. You have overcome the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Some failures happen just to disrupt the plans. Just for you to fit in into what he has planned for. Some disappointments is disruption. Some insults. Let me the insult like this. Kai, be me. Ah, ah. As you are the me, saying she needs to be broken. He needs to be broken for where I'm taking him to. Oh, yeah, another person come and pour sand upon that injury. As you are still crying of that one that insults you, the one we know rich will now come and give you another insult. Baga. Will not be like, but what? You'll be checking yourself. As you are still thinking that if you have not learned the lesson he wants you to learn, he'll keep teaching it to you until you not get to a level of hmm, God, your will. Even though you slay me. Until you get to that level. Every time you want to hear sweet messages, right? But let me tell you, if you can just open your heart to this message, if you can just open your heart to this message, you will live your life without regret. Somebody was in my office yesterday and she said, you are doing so well in school business. You are becoming a household name and you just walked away at the prime of it. Huh? You know, if I had not gone through the process, I would have been feeling bad that he is true. If I do put my thing that time, that time that everybody wants Mama, eh, Mama B, Miss Bola, Miss Bola, maybe I would have got some three story building, maybe I would have. But you know, as she was saying, do you know what came to my mind? I said, God, thank you for breaking me to the level where I could walk away from ovation and I'm still standing for you. Was it easy? But you see, it came from my mind. I'm like, that is God walking through you till you get to a level. I'm not there yet. I hope you know that. When he's disrupting your plans, as long as he's the one, you know, we know how to, we put devil in his place now. I hope you know that. But there are times that God just wants to disrupt your plans. I was talking to a mother and the mother was feeling bad if I had known. I would have made that child go to a, a private university. See this, see that. And she was counting the things. I said, eh, sorry. But I have known this God that if he disrupts your plans, it's for the best of you. I don't think I would have been fulfilled like I am now. Some incredible testimonies that drop there is no amount of money I would have made in school. And you know something? He's giving me back that dream bit by bit again. That's God for you. He will never take away something from you and not give you in a bigger way. He might be giving you bit by bit and you might not appreciate it. But when he pay, people will say, where has he been? Where has she been? I know God has blessed you. Can you bow down your eyes and talk to God? I say, Father, I know this delay might look summer, but I know you are disrupting my plans or something. Somebody was crying, oh, they just sent us out of our house. I have thought this, I have thought that. And I just smiled and said, may we learn that disruption is for our elevation. What did I say? Divine disruption is for our elevation. It might not look like it, but it's doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something. You might not see him. You might not feel him. You might not even see him in this disruption. It might look as if my life is just hanging. I'm just waking up and sleeping and nothing is there. But you know, he's planning some things for you. He's planning some things for you. He's planning some things for you. I remember one of my aunties that suffered so much delay. And that year she walked into her and God said, tell her I'm going to settle her. At 
50 she got a man at 52 she got her first child the kind of life that she never thought she would live she's living it living big I went to a house a house is like an estate I say now wow so this is how God used to set Suleiman every now and then she always sends something to me and say Bola I know that I'm your auntie but I can never forget that word you said to me and it came to pass Heavy, heavy list she was sent. He might just disrupt it for something. Some of you are at the point of, but oh, this is not my plans. This is not how I planned my life. This is not it, Lord. This is not it. We've, we've set it like this. We've set it like this. Can you just enjoy the disruption? I said, Lord, your will, not my will. Because I know this disruption is going to lead to my elevation. I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. You might be in pain. You might be crying. But just hold on to the Lord. His plans for you is of good and not of evil. You think he does not see the tears that drops? You think he's not bothered about your sleepless nights? You think he's not doing anything about it? You, that because of you, the Bible records that he neither slumber nor sleep because of you. So you think he will just throw you away like that? You think because of you that he gave his only begotten son? So you think he has forgotten you? Don't ever feel forgotten. Don't. Don't ever feel rejected. Don't ever feel it. Because I know that it will come through for you. Just hold on to his hands. And tell him I will not leave you. Even though you slay me, I know it is for the best. I will not leave you. Help me, help me. Lord help me help me Lord shadow up side of us scared of scaly brothers said of a couple of have a hard talk with the Lord as we close, he knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tears the falls. He knows, 
I don't know who this person is, but the Lord I should tell you, don't feel that anybody has gone ahead of you. He makes all things beautiful in his time. And his time is always the right time. Each tears before us. That is meant for these ones because of this disruption. Let them begin to see it, O oh Lord. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' name. 